Hey there YouTube, Estacada5000 here. What's up? Here is another build from the 2008 Shown Jump Championship Series Orlando. Um, it's called Top 8. So here we go. We got Free Rise of the Storm Monarch. When this card is tribute summoned, you can select one card on your opponent's side of the field and return it to the top of the deck. Then you got one Zaborg Defender Monarch. This card destroys an opponent, one of your opponent's monsters when it's tribute summoned. Then you got uh, Free Cyber Dragon. Then you got... Uh, free DD Survivor and DD Scout Plane. So basically what these cards do when they're removed from your side of the field from play, they uh, come back during the end phase of the turn they were removed. So it's a good this is combos well with Banisher, Radiance, Dimensional Fissure, and Macrocosmos. So it's pretty pretty cool monster. Then you got one DD Warrior Lady which removes like pesky monsters like Treeborn Frog, Spirit Reaper, Marshmallow, stuff like that. Then you got two Banisher Radiance, which basically removes cards from play instead of sending them to the graveyard, as long as this card's based up on the field. Then you got one Breaker, the Magical Warrior, one Snipe Hunter, one Morphin Jar, one Spirit Reaper, one Marshmallow to wrap up the monsters. Now for the spell cards, you got two Enemy Controller, one Brain Control. Then you got free Dimensional Fissure. So basically, um, this card basically like keeps your DD Survivor and DD Scout playing combo going, basically, along with Macro, Cosmos, and Banisher Radiance. So Dimensional Fissure's effect is any monster sent to the graveyard is removed from play instead. So it's pretty cool. Then you got two reinforcements of the army to add like the DD Survivor or DD Warrior Lady from your deck to your hand pretty quick quickly. Then you got one lane vortex, one mystical space typhoon, and then one scapegoat to wrap up the spell cards. Now for the trap cards, you got free psalm judgment. Then you got free dark bribe. Then you got two macro cosmos. So basically, the effects the same as banisher radiance. So any card sent from the field to the graveyard, or sent to the graveyard by any means, they're removed from play. Then you got two pull in the rug, one mirror force, and one torrential tribute. So that's the build. Hope you all enjoy. More videos coming soon. Later, guys.